Welcome to Symantec's video tutorials for SSL certificates. Today we will be looking at generating a CSR using Symantec SSL Assistant for Microsoft Servers 2003 and 2008. In my example, I will be using Server 2008 throughout the video. However, the same steps apply to Server 2003. Before we begin, please note that the server must be running Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0 or later. Let's first download the Symantec SSL Assistant tool. Using a web browser on your server, go to symantec.com forward slash help. Click on the link for SSL certificate support. From the main SSL certificate support page, do a search for the article ID AR1796. This article's contexts are instructions for using the Symantec SSL Assistant tool. Skip down to step 1 and click on the link that says Download Symantec SSL Assistant for Windows. You will then be prompted to download the zip file. Save the file to a location directly on the server. For my example, I'll save the file to my desktop. Now let's browse to the zip file and extract it. Right click on the zip file and select Extract All. Then select a location to extract the contents. In my example, I'll extract it to my desktop as well. Once inside the extracted folder, let's open the Semantic SSL Assistant KB folder and launch the SSL Assistant executable file. Click on the option Generate CSR to begin the process. You will now be entering the information that will populate the issued two values for your SSL certificate otherwise known as the distinguished name. This first field is the organization name. Use the legal business name that your company operates under. The department field is also known as the organizational unit. This field is optional, but for my example, I'll enter IT department. Next, select the country your company resides in. Then you will enter the state or province name. Please note that you cannot abbreviate the name as it must be completely spelled out. Now enter your city. And last is the website you want the SSL to secure, also known as the common name. When all fields have been completed, click the continue button. You will then be prompted to save the CSR file. I'll save mine to the desktop. A window will then appear with the CSR encoded text. You may copy and paste the encoded text for your enrollment for your SSL certificate, or click the Done button and the CSR will save to the location you specified. Then browse to the file and open in a notepad document to provide for your SSL certificate enrollment. That's it! Thank you for watching our tutorial videos. For further support and troubleshooting, please visit our support pages at symantec.com forward slash help.